Hi there everybody, this is Farmer Bob and welcome to my channel. It's great to be back with another review. Um, obviously not the map, it's not a map review, <laughs> it's a mod review. <laughs> it's the one and only mod that I've ever sort of put together. And it's the Homer um, Terados 4. It's a uh, root crop harvester. And I've done some changes on it, I've added... Um, some people have asked me to add uh, um, the sugar beet which is the default uh, crop for it because it's a sugar beet harvester so i've added that as well and i've just cleaned up a few things in the mod itself and changed a few things that wasn't too nice but anyway the work is done and um, i'm busy just releasing version two of it and uh, so yeah i'm just going to show you about and we're going to do that on one of my maps Garib south africa which is a um, a nice four times map it's a big map very very big nice scenery it's a very enjoyable map to play i will put it uh, link in the description if you're interested to download it and yes wonderful man if this is your first time a warm welcome and please consider subscribing or just remember subscribing <laughs> don't consider it just do it <laughs> it really helps the channel and give the video a like if you like uh, what you see and uh, um, yeah thank you so much guys for your feedback and your comments i really appreciate that great so let's get going let's start up um, this is obviously the map and i've already um, sort of pre um, loaded everything so that we don't spend too much time buying vehicles and running around to get them and i have all the crops in place and uh, let's first go to the store and have a look at the store uh, where it is under beet technology where you can buy the harvester right at the end or wherever the homer finds itself in mine i've loaded the map without mods except for obviously the homer so there it is hundred and ninety thousand and you can see it can harvest seven crops um, it's the sugar beet the potatoes carrots onions and then lettuce uh, cabbage and red cabbage so that's your seven crops you can harvest with it very very nice the harvester itself and i must say it's a, a fairly nice one to to buy and operate what i've done is i've also uh, modded the uh, the capacity from the beginning i've made it uh, 75,000, which is a little bit unrealistic but it is not over unrealistic if you think what i mean uh, it's a little bit more than the the actual capacity of this homer but it's nice to have a, a bit of a larger capacity especially with the root crops that <coughs> excuse me that um uh, what do you call it produce so much yield you know so yeah you get so much more from the field uh the speed on that uh, is 40 kilometers an hour it's got a 460 60 kilowatt uh, motor or 626 horsepower and it's selling for 190,000 in the store so you can grab it there it's a good price for it so by the way <laughs> if you compare that to the original which is like 500,000 bucks yeah so i've just made it a little bit cheaper you know to um it's it's not a totally realistic price but yeah you, you can't really buy a new woman for that price but anyway <laughs> i've made it a bit cheaper right and then for your headers you go to beat B technology as you could see there under the headers and then just scroll down the list this is the original uh, homer um, but mine you'll find under the mod ones and you'll see they're only a, a thousand bucks the headers i thought of it you should actually buy a header with the machine or get the header with it so i've just made it a thousand bucks for one and because you're going to spend seven grand buying all the headers if you want to get all the root crops but there they are and then you just grab one of them and um, you'll see um, to to distinguish them if you look at the header itself it's got a little nameplate that tells you on the right corner unfortunately it's not on the left corner um, it should have actually been on the left corner so when you get out the vehicle you can actually see now you have to just walk around the thing and look at it there but i mean when you when you approach the vehicle and you want to hook up to it you can actually see the plate in front of you so that's all right there as well good so let us jump in and quickly um assess the whole situation i'm just going to run through all the vehicles on the farm there's quite a bit to run through there it is potatoes is the first one up and then there you can see obviously i've uh, uh, already harvested a bit 
just to test it out and you'll see it's harvesting very nice dropping your potatoes in there through the conveyors pulling them up there and then throwing them in the in the thing and there you'll see the little nameplate it's actually white i can't zoom in enough now um, but um, there it is so that's your potatoes working right the next one up carrots and this is a field of carrots i've planted just for this uh, purpose and uh, you can see if you start up the the warmer it's got this little nameplate there as well and there it's harvesting the carrots dropping all the carrots in the little bin here Ooh, dri i'm driving a bit skewed <laughs> i suppose the farm manager is going to fire me you know I need to say i'm drunk but anyway there it is um obviously it's also got uh, um, dirt on it so washable totally washable and cleanable and i like how that little things vibrate it to shake off the ground from the from the crops very very nice great and the next one obviously um sugar beets that's the actual um how can you say the the actual crop what that this was designed for and here it is eating up the sugar beets chucking them here in the bin very very nice next one up is onions nice to harvest, uh, harvest onions and i mean in the base game if you just have the game itself there's nothing to harvest these crops with which is pretty annoying that's the one sole reason why why i've uh, this sort of modified this uh, homer to to do the job you know from the base game one because otherwise what can we do if there's nothing to harvest these crops what's the point of these uh, multi-fruit crops if you can't harvest them you know but there you go onions rolling going up crazy very nice and then the next one obviously cabbage and it's all the same uh, draw just get down there harvesting the cabbages now obviously this is um, sort of totally ridiculous to harvest uh, um, cabbages with <laughs> with the homer but i mean just for the game's sake you know we had to had to make a plan and red cabbage is exactly the same as cabbage it's just a different color but i like the red red cabbage field it looks nice the purple you know and also i like the way that the, the red cabbages look in the um in the tank or the um the holder or whatever you call that and then obviously our lettuce which is last but not the least and lettuce obviously it's a little bit uh, um, finer uh, type of a cob harvesting it a bit different but yeah still looks good and looks nice in the hopper so everything going well well guys that is uh, um that is the harvester there the Homer Terra does four very very nice harvester to um, to use obviously for all your root crops and for those guys who are just interested on in the map this is what the map looks like big huge fields on this map um, and also lots of small ones you start the start the uh, map with all that small fields 15 of them and then obviously uh, as you grow your farm on this you can start expanding out and also obviously my my um, signature um, cow shed on this with um, it's a huge cow shed that can handle 500 cows uh, quickly taking a swim here yeah. let's just visit it it's going to be much quicker to visit it i just want to quickly show you there what it looks like if you uh, have a look at this up here some flight tools there it is, a huge, humongous uh, cow, um, um, what do you call it, animal husbandry type of thingamabob. If you buy a lot of cows, I've specially, specially made it to uh, um, grab some a few there, confirm them, and then if you now look at them, they, they grow, grow, uh, graze the whole field. <laughs> very very nice but anyway guys um obviously the this whole map was uh, or, or the the video is designed for the homer pack and yeah grab it the, the the link will be in the description and if you like what you see 
um, please remember to subscribe and um, hit that bell for, for the notifications. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time, man. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.